Good morning children of grade 8. I welcome you all for the today's English class. So children, today in this session we are going to see two compositions. So children, already we have completed four compositions that is formal letter, informal letter, notice writing, diary entry, article writing and report writing. So in this session we are going to see the next composition that is message writing this exercise number 7 and email writing that is our exercise number 8 let's move into the class children before getting into the session let us know about what is mean by composition the word composition means combining or putting together parts to form a whole composition can apply to many works of human endeavor in fact anything that is arranged or put together using conscious thoughts also the oxford dictionary defines the word composition as the word something whole or a mixture is made up so a composition takes several ideas and puts them in an order so that the reader can understand an idea or argument that is known as composition children so children in today's composition part let us see the seventh exercise that is message writing children let's see the detailed study of message writing with its format and tips children first let's see the definition for message writing what is mean by message writing a message is a short piece of informal writing written to communicate something very important or to give instruction regarding some urgent work so that is known as message writing i'll repeat children a message is a short piece of informal writing written to communicate something very important or to give instruction regarding some urgent work that is known as message writing children message writing messages are crisp and clear means of communication messages are crisp and clear means of communication they need to be short and convey only the most important points so children messages used to convey the important and short points important points and the short points messages are important as they are meant to convey something to someone who is not present so messages are important as they are meant to convey so it is used to convey something to someone who is not present they may want to inform or express a change of plan new development a request an explanation apologies etc message writing is used to inform or express a change of plan a new development a request an explanation apologies etc a message should cover only the most important details so these are the important things that we should cover in the message writing first point only the important details second point no new information should be added exact time exact time and date of message should be written name of the person for whom the message is meant then name of the person giving the message so first one only the important most important details next one no new information should be added third point exact time and date of message and fourth point name of the person for whom the message is meant that means to whom we are sending to that should be written there and name of the person given the message that is sender name and the receiver name must be clearly written and the sentences should be short so in messages sentences must be short then the message is presented with a box a message is presented with a box so inside the box the message should be presented then 
the word limit for a message is 50 words so this is very important children the word limit for a message is 50 words only the words in the body of the notice or so these are the things should be mentioned there in the format first thing only the most important details should be written in the message writing no new information should be added exact time and date should be present there in the message writing and the name of the person for whom we are sending the message is important and the name of the person who is giving the message that should be also be presented there in the next one sentences must be in short the sentences should be in short messages is presented next thing important thing the messages should be presented within the box like notice writing so here the word limit is 50 words only children so for writing message writing the word limit is 50 words so these are the important things to write the message writing so let's move on and see the format and the skeleton of message writing children children let's see the skeleton that is format of message writing the first important thing is the message writing should be written inside a box second important thing is that the date and time then solitation then the body of the message finally at last name of the person writing the message so this is the format of writing message writing children so first must be the date and time nearby the margin solitation body of the message then at last name of the person who is writing the message so that is the signature so this is the format of writing message writing children so children as i told you from the previous format first the ingredients of message writing first must be date and time second one the solitation third one is the body of the message and fourth one is the signature that is the sender's signature look at the sample message here first one must be the date and time so see the origin so message must be inside the box only children don't forget it the date and time must be near the origin of the box next see here it is 4 pm 16th december 2013 then look at the solidation message for mother so instead of that you can write dear father or dear something like that you can write and the next one body of the message here look at the message here father called to inform you that few guests would be coming for dinner tonight so it's a small message that is written by the son to his mother that the information has been sent by the father the next last one is signature of the sender so this is the format of writing message writing children so message is a informal information that the person who wants to talk to the another person it should be in a so short sentences and with 50 words with only 50 words so this is a sample of message writing let's move on to the exercise number seven message writing let us see the seventh exercise that is message writing that we are going to write in the composition note let's start the exercise number seven with date 2 12 20 write the title in the center message writing let's start the question here question must be written in the left side children don't forget it so as we are writing composition whenever you write composition questions must be written in the left side and answer should be written in the right side so be clear in this children so i will repeat exercise number 7 date 2 12 20 title should be written in black in the center of the page and draw line using scale pencil that i have drawn there so message writing look at the question here you receive a telephone call you receive a telephone call 
from your mother's dentist dentist mother's dentist when she is not at home you receive a telephone call from your mother's dentist when she is not at home you have the following conversation with the speaker you have the following conversation with the speaker since you are late for your karate class you leave a message within 50 words you have the following conversation with the speaker since you are late for your karate class you leave a message within 50 words let's see the conversation the conversation should also be written in the left side children plus one first the conversation is started by the character kanika kanika hello next the receptionist the receptionist hello may i speak with mrs kapoor please i am the receptionist from dr Ch chong's dental clinic chong's dental clinic kanika mom's not at home right now mom's not at home right now next again the receptionist in that case can you give her a message it's urgent it is urgent please tell her that her appointment fixed for tomorrow has been rescheduled has been rescheduled ask her to check as soon as possible for the details please don't forget to inform her so here the receptionist is telling that in case if you give her a message it is urgent please tell her that her appointment fixed for tomorrow has been rescheduled ask her check her mail as soon as possible for the details please don't forget to inform her last conversation here kanika don't worry i will tell her as soon as she returns don't worry i will tell her as soon as she returns so this is what the question children so here you have the question under that you have the conversation with the receptionist so this should be written in the left side of your composition note starting with the exercise number 7 and day 2 12 20 let's move on to the right side that is the answer part now children let's start the right side that is the answer exercise number 7 2 12 20 message writing so let's start here first you have to draw a box so first must be the date and time children so 2nd december 5:30 pm so by the time of 5:30 pm you are attending the call and you are giving a message to your mom so first see here first inside the box the first thing should be the corner near the margin near the box you have to write the date and time 2nd december 5:30 pm so that should be the first thing then you have to leave a line then to whom you are writing mom so you have to mention mom comma the receptionist from dr chang's dental clinic call to say your appointment that was fixed for tomorrow has been rescheduled so the thing is the receptionist from dr Ch dental clinic called to say said it was urgent she said it was urgent so children listen carefully so exercise number date then the title message writing should be there on the top then for next thing you have to write date and time second december 5:30 pm the date and time of the message when you are writing the message children to whom you are writing that must be written next after leaving line you should write the person to whom you are sending the message so to mom here the boy is sending so he is written that mom comma here it is written as mom comma the receptionist from dr chang's 
Dental Clinic called you to say your appointment that was fixed for tomorrow has been rescheduled. She wants you to check your mail as soon as possible for the details. She said it was urgent. Bye. After leaving one line, you should write your name, children, nearby the box itself, nearby the line, margin itself. It is Kanika. So here, Kanika is writing the message to her mom about the information of the from the receptionist from Dr. Chang's dental clinic about her appointment that was rescheduled and the message will be sent in the email so she asked her mother to see that immediately after she reached the home this was very urgent message so, so she is just keeping her send, uh, sending a message like this so at last the sender name should be there children so who is writing this message Kanika is writing to her mother so here the name Kanika is written so that's all from message writing children we have completed the answer also so write neatly and follow the rules as per it was written here in the image so that's all from the answer side of the message writing children let's move on to the next topic that is email writing children let's see the detailed study of email writing with its format and tips and let's write how to write email step by step first one and first thing write a strong subject line then use proper solidation get to the point be conscious write a call to action end with the closing pro proofread so these are the steps to be followed while you are writing email writing Children, so let's see the explanation of email writing. Email means electronic mail. Electronic mail, email is the most popular means of communication in today's digital age. So, email, electronic mail is the most popular means of communication in today's digital age. All personal and official mails are sent via emails. So, all personal and official mails are sent via mails. Via means through, through email. It is preferred because, why they all preferring this email? Because it is instant. Immediately, we can send the message to the another person. It is free and you only need an internet connection. So it is free also. The only thing the person who is sending and receiving should have the internet connection. So that is the main thing here to send email. So that's what people they are using, using email to send the messages personal as well as for official works. So first point is it is instant. And second point is it is free and you only need only need an internet connection. Emails could be both. So emails can be sent both in formal as well as informal. So formal means we can send it to the officers, company, organization, government departments. So formal emails can be used to send by all offices company work, organizations, government departments, etc. So, informal means it is used to send information and messages to friends and relatives, letters to friends and relatives, etc. So, emails can be sent both in formal as well as informal children. Next one, email have a format which is available on the server page has to be filled as per the spaces given. So, email have a format which is available already in the server page that should be filled as per the space given. So, that is the email writing children. Let us see sample format of email writing here. Look at the page here, picture here, email address of the recipient of the mail. So, first one, two address that is 
the sender address email address of the recipient who is sending the mail two address must be written there then subject the main subject and the reason for writing the email it can be uh, formal or informal then salutation or greeting so next third one is salutation or greeting and fourth one is body of the mail in body of the mail you can introduce the matter matter in detail then conclusion so introduction matter in detail then conclusion that three must be there in the body of the mail then fifth point is leave taking or closing at last sixth one name designation and contact detail of the sender sender these three must be there and the last of the email writing so i'll repeat children first must be the sender mail address then subject that is reason for writing the mail then third one is salutation or greeting and fourth one is the body of the mail inside you can just mention the matter in detail then conclusion then fifth point is leaving leave taking on and closing then sixth one is name decision and contact detail of the sender so these are the things must be available in the format so you have to fill the things and you have to send the email children that the email must have the next thing is an effective email must have correct email address so what are the mistakes we may do while we are do sending an email so how we should send a effective email so to send the proper email first we have to concentrate on the correct email address with no mistakes in any letter font and symbol so there you have to be clear about the sender's email children then next point is short clear subject line so you here in subject we have to give the short precise clear subject and the next one is be brief in the body of the message you have to be clear and you have to explain everything to the point and to the point so you have to explain everything in the body of the email then the next thing is language should be polite and courteous so language next the speaking way sending message should be polite and courteous last point is have simple uh, uncomplicated sentences so you have to use only simple and uncomplicated sentences so these are the things should be maintain while you are sending email writing children for so that's all from the explanation side children let's move on and see the format of sample and format of email writing now children look at the sample of email writing here first must be the two address email address of the recipient of the mail then the next thing is subject reason for writing the email then salutation third one is salutation then fourth one is body of the email that is introduction matter in detail then conclusion then fifth one is courteous leave taking or closing and the last one sixth one is name designation and contact detail of the sender so these six things should be there in the email writing children children let's start the composition of email writing that we are going to write in our composition note children let's move on to the next exercise that is exercise number 8 date 7 12 20 email writing so i'll repeat children the next exercise is exercise number 8 date 7 12 20 email writing let's start so children now we are going to discuss the question for writing email writing email writing first one see here write an email to your cousin advising him how to use the internet you can use the hints given below so here in the email writing this is the question and to make your work easy here they have given the hints also let's see the hints that was given here so write an email to your cousin advising 
him how to use the internet you can use the hints given below so look at the hints here permission from parents before using the internet the first hint is permission from parents before using the internet second hint never meet people in real life never meet people in real life third hint may not be as the claim fourth one ask parents before filling any forms fifth one never give out credit card details never give out credit card details don't open a mail from an unknown sources never post photos in online keep your password a secret so i'll repeat the hints again children permission from parents before using the internet never meet people in real life may not be as they claim then ask parents before filling any forum never give out credit card details don't open a mail from an unknown sources never post photo in online keep your password a secret so these are the hints that was given here for the email writing children so the question must be written side so exercise 8 date 7 12 20 email writing draw lines using scale pencil children and write the title in black and question in black the hints must be in blue the title in the center so these are the things that should be written in the left side of your exercise number 8 children so let's move on and see the right side that is the answer for email writing children let's see the answer for email writing exercise number 8 7 12 20 everything should be written as the same that we have written in the left side so write the title in the center of the page draw a line using scale pencil and next thing you have to draw a box see here first what is there it is the date so follow the same rules and the things that i have written here children first date 7 12 20 from shankar at gmail dot com from address that is sender address then subject using internet then two address receiver address kishnu twenty three kishnu twenty three at gmail dot com then salutation that is greeting dear kishu dear kishu so children i'll repeat draw a box first thing must be the date 7 12 20 from address that is sender address shankar@gmail.com subject using internet to address that is receiver address kishnu23@gmail.com then solitation dear kishnu then the body of the email i have heard about your love for internet i have heard about your love for internet i agree that it was a very important and useful source of increasing our knowledge however i am afraid we the students treats it mostly for fun and entertainment i'll repeat children i have heard about your love for internet i agree that it was a very important and useful source of increasing our knowledge however i am afraid we the students treat it mostly for fun and entertainment not only this we use it for giving 
all information about ourselves not only this we use it for giving all information ourselves the next sentence is when we do so we are inviting trouble when we do so we are inviting trouble t r o u b l e trouble i would suggest that you should be very careful i would suggest that you should be very careful make it a point never to use the internet without informing your parents make it a point never to use the internet without informing your parents personal information like your password or your bank account number or not the things so i have completed this page children if your page is over in your composition note you have to take the right side of the page then you have to continue here i would suggest that you should be very careful make it a point never to use the internet without informing your parents personal informations like your password your bank account number or not the things let's move on to the next page things of public use never disclose them with regards leave line you were sincerely shankar the personal details and the informations like password bank account number are not the things of public use so don't disclose never disclose disclose means never inform or show to others so never disclose them with regards regards means thanks you was sincerely shankar so after the body of the email you should leave line then the conclusion is you were sincerely shankar so this is the format of writing email writing children i'll repeat it one more time the first thing must be date 71220 from address shankar@gmail.com then subject using internet to address kishnu 23@gmail.com then solitation dear kishnu i have heard about your love for internet i agree that it was very important and useful source of increasing our knowledge however i am afraid we the students treat it mostly for fun and entertainment not only this we use it for giving all information about ourselves when we do so we are inviting trouble i would suggest that you should be very careful make it a point never to use the internet without informing your parents personal informations like your password or your bank account number are not the things for public use so children personal informations like password your password or your bank account number are not the things for public use of public use never disclose them with regards leave one line then write the conclusion that is you are sincerely shankar so that's all from the email writing children so children that's all from our composition part children in this session we have discussed exercise number 7 that is message writing and exercise number 8 that is email writing so write neatly write clearly legibly and follow the same format of writing in your composition note children